The sound of the gunshot did not stop protesters from attacking retreating officers with rocks and other objects. More policemen drew their pistols and pointed them at the crowd. A passerby knelt to the ground and pleaded with officers not to pull their triggers. But he was kicked in the stomach. Realizing they were outnumbered, the officers eventually retreated. However, a group of journalists were furious about the guns being pointed at them. They went after the policemen and demanded an explanation. The chase ended at the stairs of a residential building where the officers were cornered. Riot police were called to the scene five minutes later, claiming they were there to rescue their colleagues. Emotions ran high as some journalists demanded answers. Police later confirmed gunshots were fired, but had no additional details to review. At the same time, a group of protesters went around Chunwan and vandalized shops that allegedly had tried links. We now go live to Chunwan. You are looking at the street scenes of Chungon Street, a very busy area with shoppers and diners on weeknights and weekends. As we speak, some protesters have barricaded the streets with different objects. At the other end of the street are riot police who will remain in a standoff with the other protesters. Some, most of the protesters have left the area who had a massive standoff with police earlier in the afternoon, but a small group of them have remained in the area and played a game of cat and mouse with police throughout the night. Other protesters have dispersed to areas such as Shum Shui Po and Chim Sa Choi, and a small group even went to the Cross Harbor Tunnel's tow booth in Hong Kong, vandalizing the facilities with staff inside. Earlier, there was a standoff between protesters and police in Chunwan that lasted over three hours. Police deployed water cannons for the first time, but they were not used against protesters. Michelle Ng reports. At 4 p.m., bags of construction materials and bamboo were thrown onto Lunyan Street and Yeonok Road by protesters, signaling the beginning of another standoff with police. An hour later, police unfurled a yellow flag warning demonstrators they were in breach of the law. They then advanced towards protesters who threw eggs and shone laser pens at them. Officers responded with tear gas. were soon engulfed in the gas. Protesters then threw bricks and petrol bombs at the police cordon. On Taiho Road, protesters picked up tear gas canisters and threw them back at police and their vehicles. Just before 6 p.m., Two anti-riot trucks equipped with water cannons arrived outside Nina Tower on Yeonok Road. The trucks were deployed for the first time since they arrived in the city last year. One of them shot jets of water at an unmanned barricade on Taiho Road. A black armored police truck was also seen roaming the area. The latest battle between police and protesters followed a peaceful march from Kwai Fong to Chinwan. Comprised mostly of black-clad demonstrators, the march took off from Kwai Chung Sports Ground just before 2.30 p.m. As they marched, they called on the government to respond to their five demands. I feel, I feel that uh, 
the government should respond to the people. And after like two months of continuous protests and even like increase uh, in like conflict between police and the citizens, the government still ignores us. I feel like devastated. I'm here because we have been protesting for two months, or over two months now, and then the government's not responding to any of our demands. So we have to keep on protesting until we get what we want. Despite the rain, demonstrators made their way through Kwai Chong and arrived in the heart of Chunwan about an hour after leaving the rally point. Some protesters had to make alternative transport arrangements to get to Kwai Chong Sports Ground as the MTL closed stations along the route of the march. Even though the demonstration was legal, the MTR said Chunwan, Kwai Fong and Chunwan West stations were closed due to safety concerns. Michelle